Friends, we started our hydroponics journey in 2017. Since then, over the years, we have set up many farms for our clients and of our own. From the hills of Uttarakhand to the plains of Western India to the coastal regions of Southern India. And during our experiences, our journey of setting up, operating and growing crops in all these farms, we have seen multiple different kind of challenges which have come up at some point or other. One question that we keep getting asked from new hydroponic entrepreneurs is, or new hydroponic business enthusiasts is, what are the key challenges one should be aware of if one wants to get into hydroponic business? Today, in this video, we are going to share with you our learnings and experiences on the key macro level challenges that you should be aware of if you are planning to start a business in hydroponics. In, in this video, we are not going to talk about minor things. No matter which business you start, you are planning to be an entrepreneur. You are planning to get into a new business. No matter which business you start, there will be many teething troubles, which you will solve on the way. So you don't need to worry about that. In this video, we are only going to talk about the two major roadblocks, which may lead to a failure of the farm, which may lead to the failure of the business. And which we have seen, if you tackle them well, then the chances of success increases manifold. These two are, Number one, the lack of skill set and number two, the lack of market. If you have solved for these two, your chances of success in hydroponics increase manifold. The first one is lack of skill set. In most of the cases, it's quite possible that you would have never done any farming before. Can you still be a successful hydroponic farmer? Well, we are not from agriculture background and we consider ourselves to be pretty successful. Yes, you can be a successful hydroponic farmer even if you have not done any training or any study in agriculture. But in that case, what you should ensure is that you have access to resources which can support you in this particular domain. For example, let's say if you don't know much about hydroponics, tie up with partners, hire some agronomists, hire some farm managers who know how hydroponic works. It will help you and it will help in your job. And this was the approach with which we started our journey when we started setting up farms. But then we came across another problem. There is a scarcity of people who really understand hydroponics. It's difficult to get skilled labor and experienced labor for managing hydroponic farms. And the labor may not really understand the importance of the small things that they are doing. So to tackle that, the solution that we worked on and which works wonderfully is anything and everything which is critical to the success of your farm don't leave it to humans move this part to machine to automation and then you don't need to worry about the lack of skill set let me give you one example let's say you are setting up a one acre hydroponic farm at any point in time the worth of the produce which will be in the farm will be at least 9 to 10 lakh rupees now assume or let's say you have left the task of giving the right kind of nutrition to the labor and he forgets to do it or he is not simply interested or he does not even understand the importance of the job he is doing. What you are risking is around 8 to 10 lakh worth of produce on the mistake of one labor whom you might be paying less than 10,000 rupees. Now such a risk is something which I would not advise anyone to take. So lack of skill set is a challenge but it can be solved. Anything and everything, I am repeating, anything and everything that can be managed by machines who don't have emotions, who don't have feelings, who will just take instructions and do the work in the right way every single time, give it to them. Make technology your friend. So the biggest challenge, the first challenge which we have seen, which we have learned from since 2017 is the lack of skill set. But that challenge now no longer exists. That challenge has been solved by doing friendship with technology, by using technology to run the farms. So this is, my friends, the first thing you should be aware of if you are planning to get into hydroponics. Talking about the second challenge, which is the lack of market. Now, the market for a hydroponic produce is very different from the market from a normal agriculture produce. A normal agriculture market will not give you the kind, right kind of premium that you should get for the hydroponic produce. So for that, you need to reach out to the segments which understand the value of what you are producing. These segments are hotels, you can go to five stars, you can go to four stars. These segments are cafes, 
these segments are super stores which have a premium segment of produce which they are selling these segments are organic stores these segments are health stores where you can reach out to and you can also reach out to online players if you look at in your cities the online players like big basket milk basket many of them have already started selling hydroponic produce so these are the guys you can reach out to and there is one more particular chunk that you can reach out to you can reach out to other hydroponic growers so instead of thinking of them as your competition you can work with them and give your produce to them because they are already investing money to create a market and then you too can enjoy the fruits of so my friends in summary i'm again repeating whenever you are entering a new venture there would be some roadblocks there would be some teething trouble without that it will not be fun at all but these two major challenges if you take care of these two then definitely there is nothing which will stop you from becoming a successful hydroponic farmer